Hey St. Marks, Kayla Gaynan here, and I'm here to bring you the devotion for today. I'm going to be reading a devotion out of this book called 100 Days to Brave by Annie Downs. If you've never heard of her, you should really check into her. She is a hilarious speaker. Her books are out of this world, and she's just a very humbling person to be around. So, here we go. Gracious words are like a honeycomb. Sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Proverbs 16, 24. Brave people take God's words and speak love into the lives of others. Brave people let God love them and know they are equipped for all the ways to use their lives to speak love. Today's verse is so beautiful and so true. Have you ever been around someone whose words just great? We can use our words to hurt others and to be negative, to gossip, and to complain. Or... We can be brave enough to step into a negative clinical world where people want to hear gossip and negatively, and instead we can be generous with our words and use them to bring life. If we are focused on that, if our goal day in and day out is to be generous and gracious, speaking love with our words, our negative mindsets and habits will just fall away. The cussing will stop because it doesn't fit into the life we want it to be. The sarcasm, will, the sarcasm will slow because you can't imagine hurting someone else with your words, even if it is unintentional. The inappropriate jokes may still come into your mind, but not as much as your mouth. When we put God's words in diligently and routinely, the lesser things fall away. God makes us new again and again, and we can be intentional and generous with our words to ourselves, to each other, and to God. I hope today that you will write a note to anyone, to people who need some words of life poured into their hearts. I hope that you will stand up for people who can't stand up for themselves, and I hope that you will think before you speak, choosing words that are gifts of light, not ones that cause death. Friend, be brave. Be different in a world that uses words to hurt. Use your words to heal and use them often. Give those words of life, the words found in Scripture, to as many people as you can. So I have a challenge for you. Now is such a good time to write this. Um, during this time that we are isolated in our homes, away from others, I challenge you to write a note to someone you love or someone that has been very important to you lately. And if you can, find their address and drop it in the mail. They will love to see it. They will, it will mean a lot to them. I know personal notes mean a lot to me and I like to receive them and I also like to write them. So I'm sure whoever you decide to send this to, they will be thrilled to receive it. So let us pray. Dear Lord, help me choose my words wisely. Help me seek life into those around me today. Help us seek wisely into those around us today to be a source of encouragement rather than discouragement, be a source of hope rather than hope, and love rather than pain. Lord, help us be brave people and speak love into the lives of others. In your heavenly name we pray. Amen. Bye guys. I hope you enjoyed today's devotional. And don't forget to write that letter to someone that means something to you today. Have a great day.